All right, this is a quick little video about my um, 1990 Cameo uh, S10. For those of you who may not know what a Cameo is, a lot of you probably that are watching this would know what it is. So, but um, I'll still, for those of you who haven't seen one around, I will go over a little bit about the truck. Uh, mine is a 1990. They made this truck for three years. Um, 1990 has 471 total built, especially with this um, ground effects package. Um, it was basically a, a, a ground effects package that went with special order that went with the S10 for three years. Um, I got this truck in July of 2018. It came like this in the, this silver color. Someone had painted it at some point and you can see that originally it was black. So they, they did a pretty good job painting it silver. Um, you can kind of barely see the chalk marks in there. They kind of wore off, but um, there's some things that you look for on a Cameo. This is the original 4.3 you know engine basically it's pretty much original as um, I got it with a hundred and sixty thousand miles on it runs good um, originally um, the uh, the air conditioning does work this isn't an original air conditioning for an s10 this was an add-on at the dealer that they put on so um, so getting parts kind of you have to kind of figure out what the what they are um, I did paint the, the guy had the, the grill painted silver. I added this black to it. And um, again, those are, it had some different lights on it originally. Those are, those are not the correct lights. I'm just going to kind of go across around here. I got these different old school billet wheels. And it does have an original dash. You'll see I drive this. So um, now the other side. The window crank handle I took off when I was fixing the window, which does roll down, up and down now. I had to put new, new little wheels in there. It does have the orig original um, digital dash, although it's missing. That's why you always see me with at least one of my watches. Okay. Okay, it does have the original digital dash, as I showed you. Um, I put a little kind of system in here. It doesn't, doesn't old school thing. Uh, old school Rockford off uh, Rockford Fosgate and Alpine. The uh, w you know, I just haven't put the window crank back on there. Um, I just now got rips in the seat here, but other than that, the interior is pretty pretty good shape. Of course, it didn't come with this cap. They don't make these caps anymore with the windowless caps that fit this truck. Um, at some point truck was was hit um, in the back or tapped in the back because it didn't have any other damage um, but uh, here's my trim piece that goes back on there I'm gonna be recreating that or no I'm gonna be fixing that and then recreating some for some other people just to give you an idea inside of the this topper is pretty pretty good shape I got stuff in there because I I use, I use the truck actually quite a bit. Um, needs a paint job. It was originally black. Again, like I said, just kind of. And I added these these um, black um, uh, rear tail light uh, lenses from a S15 GMC, and so those aren't original to the truck. Although I believe they did have black ones, but maybe not. Okay, so again, you got the cameo. All of this. All of the ground effects on here were all factory, so it came with this truck. Um, as some of people would know, how you tell a Cameo is there's a there is an RPO code in the in the um, in the glove box. I believe it's five B four or something like that. I could be wrong. I'm not going to look at look at it right now. But uh, the main pieces are the you know, the chalk mark on the on the inside of the engine, and then this AFI sticker here, which would tell you when it was actually built. All right. Okay, no turbo like the Cyclone. Um, I do plan on keeping this. I do plan on make, uh, painting it back to black. Probably keep the cab um, just because they don't make them 
um, anymore. If I, I have several people that want want it if, if I do sell it, but right now I like it and I like driving it here in Florida. It's virtually rust free. I mean, there's some there's some little rust down there on the frame. That's just like a surfaced kind of thing that you would find no matter what, pretty much anyway, on an un unrestored vehicle. So, and there it is. So, 1990 S10 Cameo. Pretty cool truck. I always wanted one. They're really hard to find unless you're kind of in the, in the S10 kind of group. So, uh, or S10 world, they're kind of hard to find. Again, there's only, there was only 471 in, in 1990. Thanks a lot for looking.